I'm Joe Hutter with the head coach of the Manhattan Jaspers, Jordan Scott. Coach, big win tonight, first win of the season, 1-0 in extra time. It took 104 minutes to decide, but how does it feel getting the first one of the season? Yeah, I, I'm really proud of the guys. It was a huge effort. I mean, Tom Giovato, his staff, the program, St. Francis, have had a, a long history of success against us. And in particular, in recent years, when I've been here, it's always been tough against them. Um, and to actually go to their place, um, you know, on their field, and um, coming off the back of the disappointing loss last week, it was, it was huge for us. It was a great win. Now, this is actually the Manhattan's first program win ever against St. Francis. And in your four and a half years here, the first extra time win for the Jaspers, yeah. a couple of kind of records or things being broken tonight. How does that feel going forward? Maybe a little bit of confidence boost. Yeah, I mean, you, loved, you love those benchmarks. You know, you always like to break, break those records, especially ones that may, maybe look negatively on you. So it was nice. It was definitely it was nice to break that duck a little bit for myself, for the for the boys. Um, you know, we we tied St. Francis two years ago, Aviator Field, right. and um, I know that that Tommy was talking tonight about how he missed that glaring chance in double overtime, and it never came back. And tonight, he came up big. Um, but I think you look at you look at St. Francis NEC champions last year. You know, went to the tournament, did really well. We're unlucky against Penn State. And uh, Tom always finds the best players. You know, he always finds players that are winners. He always finds guys that are ready to play. And t to win tonight was a huge achievement for our team. Talk a little bit about the goal. 104th minute, Amos has a cross just outside the box. It could have been a penalty kick when Alexiev got tripped up, but they ruled it a free kick just outside the box. He crosses it in, goes through traffic, yeah. off Scavetta, off a couple defenders, finds the net. You guys get the win. Talk about the play. Yeah, t t Tommy, um, you know, been working a little bit on free kicks, um, and it takes a very smart player to step up and, and decide what's right in that moment. Um, you know, it was late in the game, tired legs. It could have been a penalty, but it was close enough for us to, to gain something. He put in a really smart play on the floor, and uh, we had enough presence and pressure, and, and Jake Scavera willing himself to score his, you know, his collegiate goal. And, um, it went in for us, thankfully, and, and there was just a real, a real sense of relief, excitement um, by the boys on the sideline. But, you know, we've got a long way to go here. So it, it was a great win for us, but we know we've still got room for improvement. Talk about the play of the back line tonight. St. Francis had a couple of guys, 6'3", six, 6'5", six, up top. Yeah. The back line, newcomers, Joel Hume, Joe Hume, Luke Greaves, Abraham Bartoa, AB, really stepping up, playing, playing a good game tonight. Yeah, I think everybody did. Those three in particular, we obviously spoke about them at Lehigh, and right. we spoke a little bit about how tough it is for them. New conditions, new players, trying to make things mesh quickly. And I said to you then, and I said to anyone who'd listened to me, as soon as they get it right, they're going to be tough to beat. And, uh, and tonight, the goalkeeper, the back four, you know, the boys in midfield, they worked so hard to preserve um, to preserve our goal and, and to, to deny them any opportunities. And really, there was maybe one chance in the game where we felt that maybe we should have done better on a, on a long ball in the box. But other than that, I mean, they were just unbelievable tonight. Everybody, the collective effort was, was tremendous. Now, Alex Coates McDowell gave up two goals in the first game of the season, really still played well, 11 yeah. saves. Tonight, five saves, his first clean sheet of the year. What do you think that does for him going forward? Yeah, I, I said this before. I mean, Alex, we, we all know how good Alex is and can be in the future because he's still got a lot of growth in him. Um, but tonight, he was a leader at the back. You know, he talks very well with our back line. He's educating them throughout the game. And, you know, we, we need him for that. We need him for that. And we need him because he can communicate through our back line into our midfield, into our front line. And, you know, and, and so I think he's a, he's a crucial part of what we do. Three more matches on the road before returning home to Gaelic Park on September 26th for the home opener. So five straight to start the season on yeah. the road. What's the message going forward over the next three games before returning home? Yeah, I think it's nice to, to I mean, do, we want more home games, but, you know, it can be tough, you know, with, um, you know, trying to organize that schedule. So we try to find relationships where we can really build character and, and face different opposition. For example, last week, Lehigh on grass at their place, opening night. Patriot League program, just a tremendous experience for us. Then we go to Brooklyn tonight, a really tight field, you know, real intensity. And then we look at can we build our character? You know, are we tough enough to be able to deal with this? Because when we get to conference, we're going to play on a grass field at one point. We're going to be in an intense environment at one point, and we have to be able to cope with that. And what I really love tonight about the overtime win is that it, it builds confidence. 
sometimes when you, you go into an overtime, there's a lot of nerves. No one's actually experienced it yet. And, uh, and to get the win tonight shows that we can, we can play right through. And, uh, and more importantly, that we know how to win. Well, Coach, congrats on the 1-0 win tonight, the first of the, sum, of the season, excuse me, improved to 1-1 one one on, on the season, and good luck going forward. Thank you.